It's boss time! Here comes Sasha. Sasha Banks has made a great deal of history here in WWE. Competed in the first ever Women's Hell in a Cell match, multiple time Raw Women's Champion. Corey, I don't understand what your issues are with Sasha Banks. She's one of the all-time greats. Did you talk to her? She's intolerable. Corey's just jealous. He wishes he had half the bling that Sasha has. Six-man tag team action coming up next, guys. And both these teams come into this match incredibly confident. But unfortunately for one of them, they're going to have their confidence crushed by the end of this one. If you like action, this six-man tag team match is for you. You can say that again. We're looking at six of WWE's most exciting superstars all in one match. It doesn't get much more exciting than that. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best, just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. Well, you talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey. Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and all American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair can do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip.
It doesn't get much better than this guy. Six-man tag team action coming up next. Actually, Cole, it can get better than this. Let me just find where they plugged in Saxon's mic. Give me a minute. I'll take care of it. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh, man, Michael. Six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. This is it, folks. Three-on-three three action. Under... Wait a minute. Schoolboy. She goes for the cover. Plenty of fight left. Have to put in a little more work than that. Popped up. What a stomp. Good grief. One more time. Uh -oh. Tornado DDT. technique. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. She wants to do this in the ring. Uh-oh. German! Corey, you spoke about one of superstars in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. We've seen many times over the years that a superstar's inability to do that has cost their team the match. We've also seen over the years that not all superstars play well with others. Some competitors are so dedicated to singles careers that when they are put in a six-man team, they become a bit lost. That's when a mistake could be made, and it could be very costly. Inverted DDT! Boom, what impact! Dropkick hits the mark! Nailed it! There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Point of the elbow, nailed it. Ooh, what impact. Looking a little dazed here. Yeah, she's definitely not looking herself right now, Cole. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. That's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business, people have long memories. Hey, Byron, just like you, bankrupt. 
She got her good there. Gentlemen, we've seen Sasha Banks take some nasty falls on her back. She even had to take some time off in 2016 because of it. Everyone in the women. Oh, the backstabber. And Sasha with a bank statement. The bank statement. This could be the turning point, Cole. Oh, man. Papa Shago doesn't even know where he is. Oh, harsh impact. Shot block. Working Sasha's back has been a proven method to victory. As you mentioned, Cole, Sasha took some time off in 2016 after a series of hellacious matches against Charlotte Flair. Yeah, those matches truly tested Sasha's body. She was able to fight through the pain to win her first women's championship over Charlotte, but her back couldn't carry the pressure any longer as Banks lost her title a month later. Backbreaker! Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Severe damage being inflicted to the back. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. Look at this, Byron. This might be it. Oh, my. It doesn't look like she's going to get her to tap here. She somehow breaks free. But you have to wonder how much damage was done. You gotta believe this one's over. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure in what was a six-man tag match breaks down into a Pier 6 brawl. And if you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruin it for everybody. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Ooh, boom, boom! <laughs> what a stop! Good grief! I've seen some unique offenses over the years, Byron, but perhaps the most unique thing I've ever seen is when Bianca whips her opponents with her own hair. I have never seen anything like it, Michael. But I'll tell you what. If I was to give advice to anyone facing Bianca, it would be to turn the tables against her. Go ahead and whip her with her own hair. Got face oh. first. Gosh. Northern Lights. Oh, nasty impact. She is on fire. <laughs> to your point about Bianca's hair, Byron, I do think it's long enough that an opponent could likely use it as a weapon as well. No, nope, that won't work. Grabbing an opponent's hair can lead to disqualification. She's looking at it. Ooh. This is all but over. And she kicks out. Still a lot more fight left. Bianca Belair, big move coming. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Ladies and gentlemen, by now I'm sure you've heard Bianca Belair describe herself as the EST of NXT. Corey, what exactly does that mean? I'll break it down for you, Michael Cole. It simply means that Bianca Belair is the strongest, the fastest, the smartest, and the baddest around. Here it comes, Michael. Truth or consequences! This might be it, guys. I don't know if Zelina Vega can recover. This might be it. Oh, my. Corey, thank you for breaking. Looks like she wants the win early. She's got some fight left in her. She's still in this one. She's going with this. She might have it. Oh, oh, it's over. She goes for the cover. And they kick out it too. What a kick out. The switch here to Carmella. Carmella wants to put this away. 
She's starting to feel the pressure. And you can't help but wonder how much of this she can sustain. No, she escapes it. Yeah, I don't know if she had it locked in fully, Michael. Ooh, what impact. Boom, oh, what impact. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Incredible agility! Guys, there's a bullet there. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who've had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the best. Ah! Setting up, rolling through. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Ooh! You've got to believe this one's over. The princess of Staten Island has... Here it comes, Michael. Stunner! Emphatically delivered. She's in the driver's seat now. Carmella's in a real bad spot. There's a pin now. Digging deep for a kick out. She's a warrior, guys. The moonwalk and Bronco Buster just got Carmella warmed up by forcing her opponents to tap out from the pain caused by the horrific code of silence submission. Here it comes, Michael. Truth or consequences? There is no coming back from that one. She goes for the cover. Kicks out in the nick of time. As a former dancer and cheerleader, you know Carmella's going to be light on her feet out there. Not sure how much more Bianca Belair can take. This six-man match may have taken it all out of her. I got to say, guys, Bianca Belair has wasted little time making a name for herself. I mean, from the minute she walked in the door, the entire women's division stood up and took notice. Drop kick. Beautiful. Sasha Banks showing everyone that it's Boss time! Ugh. Harsh impact. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. As Byron mentioned, Bianca Belair's impact has been immediate. From her very first match in the 2017 May Young Classic, Bianca has been opening eyes. Yeah, and it's worth noting that in the first round of the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what a stomp. Good grief. Papa Shango in with the tag. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. And there's the reversal from Sasha Banks. Dodges that one. Beautiful technique. Deep, deep trouble here. Oh, look out. Uh, 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 oh, man, what a leg drop. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Running clothesline! Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man big run. This one is over. The pitfalls of gravity, Michael. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting... There it is! She's made the tag! And her partner is on absolute fire! 
fire right now. Nail it. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Ooh. Oh, right to the body. That hurts. Got the reversal. Look at her go. A surprising reversal from Sasha Banks. And that's how a superstar takes advantage of their ring position. Such a high ring IQ. And no luck against Bianca Belair there. Big slam. Here comes, Michael. Good night. What a stunner. That's it. That's what she needed. She goes for the cover. One, two, three. What a six-man tag match. Well, tag team matches are one thing, but make it three on three, and it's three times as good. Take a look. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. That's a woman on a mission. She's taking care of business. And that's exactly how she wanted to end this thing. Talk about having to dig down deep to pick up the win. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that was an amazing contest.